Welcome to the Nicholas 11 X12 technology. Today we are looking at the Corsair Builder Series CX600 version 2 power supply. This is an entry level 600 watt power supply by Corsair. Let's take a closer look at the box now. As you can see it comes in a very standard box. On top it says Corsair and once again I am reviewing the CX600 version 2 PSU. This isn't the first version, it's version 2. Keep that in mind. It's 80 plus certified, comes with a 3 year warranty and there's the energy using product logo, so it will consume like 1 watt on standby. When I turn the box around we get another shot of the PSU, not the real picture though. On the back it shows you all the connectors this PSU offers, a fairly big amount for the value in my opinion. Now let's open this box up. On top we immediately get Corsair's warranty guide, then the user's guide, in between the cables and the PSU itself we got some black cable binders and also black screws to mount the power supply into the case. Then there's the power cord, pretty thick one, I like that. And lastly the power supply itself and protection. And wow, that thing is actually pretty heavy for a 600 watt power supply. There we go, it has a 120mm fan to cool this unit down. In most cases you'd mount the PSU in that way, and on the side it would then say Corsair CX600. That looks pretty cool in my opinion. On the back there's a power button of course, and there's enough room for ventilation. But on top we get to see the most important specifications for power supplies. As you can see right here, this power supply unit has a single plus 12 volt rail with 40 amps on max load. Unfortunately only 480 watts on the plus 12 volt rail. That's kind of disappointing here. You get 150 watt on the plus 3.3 volt and plus 5 volt rails. Both have 25 amps. And now to the cables. All cables are nylon sleeved as you can see right here. That's terrific. This is the 24 pin power connector. Sorry, the cables are a bit messy, so it takes a while to get out the right ones. Alright, this is the PCIe 6 pin or 6 plus 2 pin power connector for high end graphics cards. Then there are 3 Molex connectors and a floppy connector. Here's the 8 pin EPS 12 volt power connector. Here are 3 SATA connectors. And here's another PCIe 6 pin or 6 plus 2 pin power connector. And lastly, 3 more SATA connectors. Once again you have one 20 plus 4 pin power connector, one 4 plus 4 pin 12 volt power connector, two 6 plus 2 pin PCI Express connectors, three Molex connectors, six SATA connectors and one floppy connector. So you get a fairly decent amount of cables. And now I'll show you how long these cables are. As you can see they are fairly long and will definitely be long enough for full tower cases. There should be no problem at all connecting your components with these long cables. And in mid tower cases you could probably also do some cable management since all the cables are so long. This isn't a modular PSU so it wasn't designed for that but in mid tower cases you will surely find some spots to hide them. Now I'll give you another impression of the length of cables. Not bad, right? Good job, Corsair. So altogether, from what I've seen so far, this power supply looks pretty good. And now it's time for the specifications. The Corsair Builder Series CX600 version 2 power supply offers 600 watts of power and is 80 plus certified. It also uses a 120mm fan to cool down the components inside the PSU. Features active PFC and allows an input of 90 till 264 volts. For the safety it features over voltage, over power, under voltage and short circuit protections. The plus 3.3 volt and plus 5 volt rails both have 25 amps and a combined power of 150 watts. There is only a single plus 12 volt rail with 40 amps and a power of 480 watts. Not bad but I'd like to see more wattage on the plus 12 volt rail. Time for benchmarks. In CPU ID Hardware Monitor Pro I got some decent results for rails on idle. The less and lower the fluctuations the better the power supply. Not bad actually. Even on load it's barely fluctuating. Good results and the voltages are set correctly as well. The Corsair Builder Series CX600 version 2 600 watt power supply is truly one of the very best budget power supplies out there. Pros are good price performance ratio, stable voltages, very silent, 
long cables and the nylon braided sleeving. For the cons I only have one thing to say, it only offers 480 watts and a plus 12 volt rail. Other than that it's a great power supply and I give it an 8 out of 10 and definitely recommend it. Thanks for watching.